Hi guys, this is Franz Bokots from South Africa. And what I want to share with you over the course of the next uh, few minutes is the principles of lengthening over a nail for tibia lengthening, um, or at least my interpretation thereof. LON, or lengthening over a nail, has become a standard of care for limb lengthening for a long time. A lot of our colleagues have used it over the course of the years for stature lengthening or cosmetic lengthening. And indeed, we now offer it as part of our packages for limb lengthening as well. And I thought it would be good to just explore um, some background around that. So the first question that comes to mind is why? Why would a limb lengthening surgeon like myself, who is all uh, geared up on safety, start performing LON surgery for cosmetic lengthenings? And we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. Secondly, I think it's good to talk through how we perform the surgery and what the technicalities are um, in terms of devices and protocols and so forth. And then lastly, I think um, it is important to always discuss risks whenever we're embarking on surgery and wherever we're discussing procedures. So we will get into that a little bit as well. The first question is why? And I think we can answer this actually quite simply by saying, that for a very, very long time, limb lengthening in the tibia has been completed very successfully with external fixation, and more specifically, circular external fixation, like the Elizarov uh, technique and device. And what you see on your screen is an X-ray that demonstrates the incredible amount of um, regenerative bone formation in a tibia that was lengthened uh, by six centimeters. So this is to the test of time in terms of reaching targets of limb lengthening. Now, the downside of using an external device is that the patient will have to wear that device for approximately two months for every centimeter that we lengthen, which of course becomes almost impossible to bear with if we're doing stature lengthening or cosmetic lengthening. Coupled to that, there is a risk of uh, pin site infections and um, contractures and so forth. And that is why people have steered away from external fixation for the purposes of stature lengthening. In the absence of weight bearing nails, the external fixation device provides a real benefit in terms of weight bearing capacity. And because of that, it also maintains the length of the Achilles tendon much better than a non-weight bearing option would. And this together with the option of combining this technique with an internal nail, gives us the opportunity to actually perform um, external fixation based lengthening that is weight bearing, but deals with a shorter external fixation time, albeit at a risk of some pin site infections. And again, we will delve into that. But the reason why we provide this as an alternative is twofold. The one is that it is extremely cost effective as the devices we use are not particularly expensive. And secondly, uh, the weight bearing capabilities that this offers in the top picture, you can see a patient weight bearing on an external fixator. And then the bottom, you can see an external fixator being used uh, to weight bear a Ferrari. Um, the next question is how, how do we do LON? Well, let me show you some pictures. So firstly, we take the tibia, we perform some venting holes and we insert a tibial nail. We then lock the intramedullary nail proximally, but not distally, and then perform an osteotomy of the tibia and also of the fibula. At this point, we then apply an Elizarov style external fixator. So this is a circular external fixator that is extremely stable and provides a scaffold around the limb. And it's basically this fixator that we would then pull to elongate the limb. 
This fixator gets attached to the bone via some pins and wires, and these provide the weight bearing stability for the patient. Now, these devices look terrible. <laughs> they look very intimidating. They are quite cumbersome, but they're fully weight bearing, and they are, for most patients, more comfortable than what they seem to be. And we have a vast experience with circular external fixators over the years and can provide this as a very safe alternative. Once the limb is lengthened, the nail is then locked at the other end, providing longitudinal and rotational stability of this construct. And at that point, then the external fixator is removed and the patient continues rehabilitating. Of note is also the fact that the fibula will need to be stabilized at the top and the bottom, very similar to what we see in a normal intramedullary based lengthening. So in a nutshell, this process then takes approximately three months for most of the tibial lengthenings, at which time the nail gets locked, frame gets removed, and the patient can continue mobilizing and rehabilitating. Risk. We've spoken about the benefits of weight bearing. We've spoken about the potential benefits of um, maintaining the Achilles tendon length, as well as the good regenerates we've seen with external fixation. And then lastly, we've spoken at the cost, about the cost benefit of this. Now, anything that has positives tends to have negatives. And for that reason, we have to discuss the risks. Now, there are basically two risks involved in this um, technique. The first one is, of course, the uh, pin site infection and the potential risk of deep infection. We have in close proximity an intramedullary device as well as an external device. And if we are not careful, one could actually contaminate your intramedullary device from your external fixator pins, and that would lead to deep infection. So it is really, really important in the execution of the technique that we minimize that risk. But secondly, that we look after the pin sites very, very carefully. And we have a very specialized pin site care protocol that we follow, uh, which revolves around occlusive pin site dressings, which get changed every five to seven days. And that serves us well in terms of lowering the risk of infection uh, to an acceptable level. The other obvious problem with the LON method is the fact that you have to wear this fixator for a period of time. And um, this does translate into scarring. You can have a look on the screen in front of you and you can imagine at each of those pin sites, you would have some scarring occurring. Now for most patients, these scars end up being um, very small and relatively inconspicuous over time. They can, of course, also be treated with laser and scar excision and so forth. But scarring is one of the downsides of this technique. Now, for most gentlemen who undergo this treatment, which is most of our patients, uh, the hairy legs would go some way to prevent uh, the visibility of the scarring. So in a nutshell then, why do we do this? Why have we added this to our package? Well, we've done it to provide an affordable alternative for somebody who wants to be a lengthening. We've done it so that we can tap into the benefits of external fixator based lengthenings, uh, but limiting some of the long term risks by shortening the X fix time with an intramedullary nail and maintaining weight bearing status throughout the patient's recovery journey because we currently do not have a proper weight bearing to be on nail available. How do we do it? It's a phased approach where we go through different phases of surgery over a period of time to go from in introduction of the nail, osteotomy, application of the fixator, then distraction, and then removal of the fixator and locking of the nail. And that all happens over a period of roughly three months. And then we've summarized the two major risks for you, which revolves around scarring on the one hand and potential infection on the other hand. Again, this is not a 
process that should be taken lightly. And I would urge you to do your homework before embarking on this journey and make sure you choose a surgeon that can do this safely for you. Choose a surgeon that can not only perform the surgery and prevent complications, but indeed manage complications if they should occur. With that, I'm signing off.